This is going to be a little demo of, I'm, I'm not sure it's a demo, but I'm, I'm practicing using uh, the typist way of doing slides. Uh, and I've normally done slides in Beamer with LaTeX. And I love LaTeX, I mean, I do, but um, I don't know, it's slow. Like building the slides is slow and it's a bit tedious. And uh, okay, so what you see on the left is a skim view on my Mac OS. And so Skim will auto-update if the PDF file uh, updates. So, um, and on the right, it's just a text editor and it sets the typist source. So that's a comment. One of the things I like about typist is you can put comments unlike uh, Markdown where, I mean, I guess you can, but they hide in HTML and they show in something else. Or, anyway, I could never figure it out and it bothered me. Um, this is uh, uh, importing a, I don't know how to pronounce it, but a package called Toying, maybe Toying. Um, I'm using the simple theme. I just copied this. I don't know what other themes there are. Um, okay, and this uh, it, that was a kind of a funny uh, verb, but I mean, I guess it means set, basically like set. There's another verb called set. Um, anyway, it's just the aspect ratio, which I assume is is good. <clears throat> so I have some text here. Uh, when I save it, maybe I'll, when I save it, you'll see something will flash over on the right-hand side and you'll slip left-hand side will update. Um, so I'm going to just show you again. So I type update. I haven't saved it yet. Now I save it. See it flashed red there. Okay, so you see it updates quickly. That's nice. Um, now what we want actually is to make this be sort of a subsection. So, okay, that's title slide a space to get to the next slide. So this is how you can make uh, an image, You've got a caption as you can see. Um, kind of the standard picture to show for the waves, not very exciting. And the next is the dispersion relationship. <clears throat> I'm gonna assume that basically people know about LaTeX and that they also know about Markdown. So equal equal is the way of saying subsections, that first slide. Uh, there's probably other ways of doing it, but um, equal, equal. Uh, underline means use uh, italic or slant font. I'm not sure if it's italic or slant, which is a different. Um, what we have here is an equation. So notice that omega, unlike uh, LaTeX, doesn't start with a backslash. Um, but you still have the dollar notation. If you say dollar space and, and end it with space dollar, then it typesets it in a line. You can turn uh, equation numbers on, which I probably will do as it's for a class. Um, but let me just show you what happens if you don't have that. Then it becomes inline. And now I want it to, I want the students to be able to see this. So I'll switch back to that. So I think you can see now it's very quick. This is the pleasant thing about it. After a while, honestly, you become used to, uh, I, I have become used to and happy with the fact that I don't have to do backslash omega there. Notice also that it, uh, it recognizing tanch as a keyword or a function name, whatever you want to call that. And so it's typesetting it with an upright font, which is what you meant to do. It's also careful, like there's a way of doing derivatives such that like the D, if you're doing like dydx, that the D comes upright font. And many people in LaTeX typeset that with a slant font. It's not actually correct. It should be an upright font as it's an operator, not a variable. Um, what else can we see here? So I've used star for a uh, bold face, but it comes out here with a, a different color and I don't like that. So I'm just gonna change that. Maybe we'll change it back to an underline. You notice that my editor is saying there's an unclosed delimiter. And when I close that, it, that error message goes in the way. Okay, so that's good. And maybe I'm gonna do the same here. Um, Probably nicer, days and group speeds. Uh, okay, now there's other interesting stuff. Um, look at this first equation, the omega over k equation. If I typeset it with a backslash like that, then it does it sort of inline. I don't actually want that, but that's an interesting thing to know. Make it go back to the way it was. Um, the square root g over k. So basically, it's clever on. I'll make this to be wrong. This is not. This is not correct. Um, so it becomes a two multiplied. And if I do this, 
Can you see how that's working? No, that's not what I wanted. Um, so that's good. Uh, let's see. So yeah, that first equation is not correct. I better check it because, um, yeah, okay, that's good. Um, I don't think I really want this to be there. I'm not sure that's the right way of doing it. Well, I guess that is the right way of doing it. So that's great. Um, I think you say D derivative maybe, or is it DI? Oh, it's CIF, I think. Okay, yeah, so that should be a diff, I think. Yep, this should be, I mean, like I was saying, properly speaking is supposed to operate. These are supposed to be upright fonts for that operator. Okay, so I'm at the last of my slides, but what can you see from this? It updates really quickly, really quickly. This is a lot less typing than like in, I usually use Beamer, which is what I'm translating this from, um, in LaTeX, Beamer. And there you have to like begin slide and end slide, or begin frame and end frame, whatever the word is. And um, it's just a lot more work, basically. Now, um, I'm using the simplest possible scheme here. There's lots of, there's other schemes with colors and whatnot, but frankly, with color blindness and vision problems in general, I just think it's simpler is better. Um, so what do we have some, oh, maybe I'll just show this. Uh, you can say pause, uh, pause with me. Um, okay, so now we're on, still on slide three. Um, now pressing a space to go to the next page. Can you see how they appeared? In fact, I think it would be nice for me to do that. Um, go back to where are we at here. Go back to that. Where are we here? Um, okay, there we are. Um, I'll go to the beginning maybe. So I'm just pressing uh, space to go to the next page. Phase and group speeds. You know, it's kind of nice. You can do the animation. So, you know, when you're talking, you can. Uh, um, you could you could sort of say you could talk at this point and then give the next one and you know spend five minutes talking about it, explaining it, seeing if the students have any questions or whatever, and then the next one. So what have we seen in this? Uh, number one, uh, typing is really fast. Uh, number two, if you're on a system that lets you um, continuously update uh, PDF files, that's handy. On the Mac, the uh, thing called Preview doesn't do it. I really think it used to. Anyways, I use Skim instead. For that purpose, it's the only reason I use Skim. Um, I guess it has some other good things, but that for me is the main thing. That's fine. Um, if you go to this website, it will take you one minute before you'll see that you should copy and paste this. Basically, they got a little thing that makes two slides or something. Um, the figure thing is the same in all. Like This figure idea is not particular to slides. This is how you would do it in... Uh, you know, in the in any kind of a any kind of a, a document, you can set the width here, and there's a bunch of other stuff you can set. Um, let's see, what else could I tell you that would be good? This is the name of it. I'm not referring to it actually, but this would be then the name of that item, and you can give equations uh, numbers and it probably names as well. Um, yeah, use equal equal for subsections, which for slides becomes a, a page. Uh, and the other is that you can get math inline or typeset in new lines by putting a space to let to put a space after the dollar and before the dollar gives you the separated in lines. Now there are a few things like for this I first was typing right arrow, which wasn't correct, so I just did a Google search and they have very good documentation for typist T Y P F T is what it is, um, and I found it's arrow dot R. I would guess that arrow.u would be an up arrow, like, um, you know, it's saying that's an arrow, uh, arrow dot L is a left arrow. So that's guessing there, <laughs> but there's a million, there's a million symbols. Uh, what else can I say? Um, you can make calligraphic text. So let's try that. See if we'd like the look of that. You know, I, I think I do like the look of that. Um, I 
have to think about whether I like the look of that or not. But I like it because it doesn't, this doesn't look like specific heat for which I used. I do use lowercase c and lowercase p, but this is even more distinct. But now that I look at it, it looks like an e. So I'll have to think about that. Um, yeah, it's a progress report. Um, I recommend it, frankly. If you were just trying to make a quick presentation, this is a lot quicker than Beamer. Now, what I like about Beamer partly is you get a table of contents at the top and stuff, but I'm pretty sure there are, just looking at the uh, website for this, um, for this uh, toying thing, um, looking at the website for that, I think there are things that do that. I, I think I'm just gonna move away from them because people in the back of the room often can't see those things. So just plain, plain black lines on white background, I think would be quite good. 